Hello guys, what's up? Jose here for We Talk UAV, and today we are going to be reviewing the new Ground Station Pro app for iPad. Now, DJI says this app is designed to control and plan automatic flights, and also that it's more geared to commercial and industrial applications. So, basically, what this app does is it allows you to plan flights using GPS waypoints and also to monitor the flights. In this review, we are going to take a look at the functionality, the user interface, how the application works, all this kind of stuff. But first, let me talk a little bit about the history of DJI and autonomous flights to give you a little bit of context. In 2011, even before the Phantom 2 was released, DJI already had a PC ground station. It wasn't very polished or user-friendly, but it got the job done, and it allowed all the drones like this Phantom 2, to fly waypoints and complete photogrammetry missions. With the release of the Phantom 3 though, support for the PC ground station was dropped and there was no way to fly complex pre-programmed routes on the Phantom 3. But DJI had an ace up its sleeve, because shortly before launching the Phantom 3, they introduced their own SDK, or Software Development Kit, which allowed external developers to write applications for DJI drones much in the same way that Apple allows developers to write applications for iPhone. And so new applications started to appear, like Pix4D Capture, Drone Deploy, Litchi, Map Pilot, that gave newer DJI drones this lost functionality. This means that today autonomous flights on DJI drones were working pretty well. But apparently DJI decided it was time to release their own official ground station app, which we will be reviewing today. So with that, Let's go to the field and check out the app. So when you first open the app, you get a map view, an overview of the previous missions, and also a new mission icon, which lets you choose between virtual fence, 3D map area, and waypoint route. First, I am going to show you the virtual fence mode. This mode lets you set up an area where the drone is allowed to fly and will not let the drone fly outside of this area. We can now lift up the aircraft. That didn't go very well. One interesting thing that I found when trying this feature is that apparently DJI puts the drone in a different flight mode, which makes it fly much more precisely. So for example, if you release the sticks but it still has some speed, it will try to brake very fast. It will try to only make the movement that you request. It might be a bit scary at first for you because you don't know what's happening, but apparently that's a normal flight mode that DJI implemented. Okay, so let us now take a look at the waypoint route option. So now we are tapping on the screen to create new waypoints. The S marks the starting point and we can add new waypoints. Then you can see here you've got the speed at which you want to fly a drone. You also have altitude. You can make the drone stay with a different heading and you can also change the gimbal pitch. Also very important, you can make the drone return to home at the end of the mission or you can make it hover. Then you also have way options for each point, so you can maybe change height, change heading and you can also make actions for each waypoint. So for example, for the starting waypoint, we can tell the drone to start recording. And then in the second waypoint, we maybe want the drone to make the gimbal pitch angle minus 90, so that it's looking down. And then we can add a new waypoint here. And in this one, 
we will make the gimbal angle zero again and then we add a third waypoint which will take a picture once we are happy with all of this we go here to fly a mission and then you can see that we can enable or disable obstacle avoidance we can see the the distance from the flight area but we have 19 satellites that everything is normal and we have enough battery it does warn us that the RTH altitude is only 50 meters but since there are no obstacles here we are going to go ahead and do that mission okay, so now we press start to fly and you can see that the drone immediately starts the flight so it's going to go to an altitude of 50 meters you can see the altitude here, as well as the speed. So now it's going to turn and go to the first waypoint. Now it stops and it's going for the second. And you see how it's tilting the gimbal also. Here again we change the tilt. And then we go back. And now it's going to take a picture. Here you can see the progress, it's at 75%, 3 or 4 waypoints and now it's going to start return to home. So it's returning to home only at an altitude of 50 meters because that's what we said. So yeah, that went very well, I think. Uh, everything was very responsive, we knew at all times what the aircraft was doing. And so let's try a different one. Let me go back to new mission, 3D map area, and I'm going to use the tab method. And so I'm going to tap where I want the drone to be mapping. And basically it's going to be a little triangle here. Okay. Okay, so it's telling us that we have the Phantom 4 Pro camera. We are shooting parallel to the main path. The capture mode is to hover and I'm going to change that actually at capture at equal distance interval. Okay, and maybe I'm also going to increase the speed. So apparently I can't increase the speed because that would make the drone take pictures too fast. So if I increase the altitude, the speed also increases. And we can also change some parameters, like we can say that the front overlap can be a little bit smaller, side overlap also, and also we can change the car's angle. So... Let me go and make this a little bit bigger so that you can see this better. Okay, and I am going to also reduce the altitude so that we get some more passes. And now you can see a lot better how this changes the way the drone will fly. Uh, also, you can change the gimbal pitch angle. We will leave it at minus 90, which is the usual thing to do. And that's pretty much it. We can see everything here. I don't know what this is doing. Oh, it's showing us the path. And so it's telling us that the flight length is 340 meters and we're going to give it a try. So at this point the ground station started giving us some errors about failing to transmit data 
and it also told us that our drone firmware did not support flying forwards and taking pictures at the same time. So we had to change the mode to hover and capture, which is much slower, but at least we were able to show you guys some footage. Okay, so in this mode, as you can see, the drone is stopping every time it has to take a picture, so this is going to be super slow. Here you can see some of the pictures that the Phantom 4 took during the flight. I know the light conditions were already bad because it was a bit dark, but still you can see that the pictures were out of focus. So it's no motion blur, it's really that the camera didn't focus. After testing it, I think the Ground Station Pro app is a refreshing addition from DJI to the app ecosystem. It's different from other apps in that it's not focused in a specific use case, like shooting videos or doing photogrammetry flights, and instead it's really focused in extracting all this extra functionality from your DJI drone. It doesn't have as many features as the Ardu Pilot ground station apps, like Mission Planner or Tower, but for that it's very easy to use, and you always feel in control of what's happening with a drone. It also has nice touches, like showing you the remaining flight time, and the smart return to home bar on top of the video feed. In our case we did encounter some bugs, like not being able to take pictures while moving, or the pictures and videos being out of focus. But then again, the Phantom 4 Pro shows with an asterisk in the compatibility list, so I'm sure these bugs will be ironed out in future releases. If you want to experiment with GPS guided flights in your DJI drone, I do recommend you download this app. And of course, feel free to share your experience and opinions in the comments. Thank you for watching and remember, keep calm and talk UAV.